All right, what's going on guys, it's Light here. Welcome back to another YouTube video. And today, we're gonna to be talking about the Xeno Bingo quest and such. The thing about it is, is that we've already seen these quests just a little bit, if those who hasn't really messed around with us such. We have actually looked at this briefly in the summoning video. In today's video, I kind of want to like just focus on this specifically because it's like there's some interesting things to kind of talk about. As you can see, there's different, you know, Xeno related quest things you guys could actually start, whether it be the bow, the sword, the lance, the staff, the relic, you get the point. And the thing I will actually tell you guys as such is like, as you can see, there's multiple different bingo shoots that we can like go through to do different sets of missions. And the thing about it is, each set of these missions will give you the resources, all of the resources to awaken the Xeno weapons. And as you can see, you can do three sets with this one, three sets with all the classic ones. However, however, if you do get the other ones completed and stuff like that, you get the fourth one. So you actually get, I think, like the second to last, a, like awakening and such for you to be able to start just farming the slates and such as well, too. Like, this is a huge buff. Like, just to, just to anybody who really wants to, like, get their Xeno gear up there, now is the time. We have Battle Coliseum. The weekend is coming around and such as well, too, that's going to allow you to be able to farm out the additional quests and such that you need to be able to get this stuff going. So yes, if you do want ranking and stuff like that, I, yeah, I would tell you to go for rank, but at the same time, take advantage of this because I do not know how long this is about to last for. And if you do got most of your Xeno completed and stuff like that, but still need materials and such for your Angel Xeno gear, these quests will still benefit you in various different ways because as you do these quests and such, you can see like the different line rewards, you see these rewards and line rewards as well too. You get additional resources and such that you may need, like there's Legend Medals, there's Colosseum Medals, just in case you want to get like the Aether every, uh, every like month and such when Colosseum comes out. There's also the uh, the weapons crest. You may need those for the angel gear. There's the same thing with the armors and such well too. You can get some additional resources that can help out a lot. But honestly, that's all I really want to discuss for this video. So let's just kind of just talk about that because it's like again, yeah, I want people to actually do these things. This is about to benefit you guys a lot. I mean, like a lot. Beginning players, in-game players, any kind of player, man. But anyways, this is Light here, and I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, remember to leave a like, subscribe if you guys are new around here, turn on notification bell so you don't miss any new videos just like this one. And remember that Jesus loves you guys, and I'm Light, and I'll see you guys next time.